Hello, welcome to JD's Prep. In this example, trapezoids A, B, C, D, and A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, and D double prime are graphed on the set of axes below. What we want to do is describe a sequence of transformations that maps trapezoid A, B, C, D into the other trapezoid, A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, D double prime. There's a couple different ones that you can do. Okay. I'm going to map out one of them and then just tell you a couple other ways that you can find the sequence of transformations. Okay. So the first thing that you can do is a rotation um, 180 degrees okay, about the origin and then a translation two units down. So what would that do? Right? If you do a rotation about the origin, that's going to take point A over here. Right? I'm going to call that A prime. If it take point B and rotate it 180 degrees about the origin, that's going to take it over here. I'm going to call that B prime. Okay. If I take C and I rotate it about the origin 180 degrees, that's going to get me to this point here, C prime. And if I take D and I rotate it 180 degrees about the origin, that's going to get me to there, D prime. So you can see this trapezoid here that would form. Okay, let me just connect these. That's just your rotation 180 degrees about the origin. Now if I go ahead and take all those points and translate them down two units, right? If I take B prime and go down two units, now I'm at B double prime. I take C prime down two units, now I'm at C double prime. I take D prime down two, I'm at D double prime. And I take A prime down two, and I'm at A double prime. Which is getting me exactly to that trapezoid that I wanted. So that's the, um, one of the ways, right? That's a sequence of transformations that can map the trapezoid onto the other one. A couple other things that you can do, and I'll just list these out here, is you can do a rotation, again 180 degrees, but this time about the point B. Okay. After you do that, you can do a translation six units down, and then six units left. Okay. And then another one that you can do, let me just add these in here, is you can do a reflection over the x-axis. translation two units down and then a reflection over the y-axis. So let's see what that one would look like. So let's say I take all these points and I reflect them over the x-axis first. So then point A would go here, A prime. B would get reflected. That would give me that point there, B prime. C prime would get reflected. Let's see. One, two, three, right there, C prime. And D prime would get reflected. Sorry, D would get reflected there to D prime. So that's my reflection over the x-axis. Now let's, let's see what happens when we translate it two units down. Okay. When I translate this two units down, right, a prime becomes b double prime, d prime becomes c double prime, c prime becomes d double prime, and b prime becomes a double prime. So I'm on the trapezoid, 
but I'm not in the right orientation, right? I need to then reflect them over the y-axis, right? So that, right, the C goes in the right position, and then the D would go in the right position. Same thing, I need the A to switch with the 